Personal growth. Personal growth. Um, business. I know they got the spirituality section. So I'm close. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling. I need. I need. Right now, I'm looking for a book that's gonna take. Um, that's gonna help my career get to the next level, or everything that I'm trying to do with music and business get to the next level. Okay. Great. It's crazy, I was thinking about this nigga was in a whip. Because <laughs> you know how long it took this nigga to get on? Oh, yeah. You know how long it took him, but when you're you know, you know, um, when you building a um, legacy, and building blocks in the beginning, they're going to hurt, they're going to be hard, but that's just going to create that foundation. And then when you finally get on, it's going to look like overnight success. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't like to judge books by the cover, but your title is important, you feel me? Your title, you gotta got be something that grab you in, you see? How to talk to anyone, right there, my mind clicked like, yeah, anybody? So nah, treat people like big babies. Right here, I'll skim through and see if they really give me information or if they just saying a bunch of filler words to fill a book space. I created five with private joke. But then a lot of this shit, I don't need a book to tell me this. If anything, okay, in terms of communication, I can always get better. There's always things I don't know. I like to read what other people say about the book. I can afford for an introduction. Let me back. You ever heard of outweighing the devil? The devil? Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. How you feel about that book? Come on now. How I feel about the book? Yeah, like, what is it about? What do you feel about it? Like I told you, I don't judge books by the cover, which. <laughs> the title crazy. When I try to people listen, um, you know, I got into it for the audio book. I know the book would have been better, but the audio book dope because it sounded like a conversation for real, and that's the format the book written in. So, um, that book crazy, man. The concept is like, it's basically seeing the perspective of the devil and how he trapped niggas into living a the life they don't want to live. So, seeing that perspective, it, listening to it, it kind of give you the motivation. Like, you know what? I don't want to be a drifter or somebody that's a in puppet. a position. Yeah to where the devil could come creep up on me. Mm -hmm. So you know what, let me get my life in order because he only fuck with people that drift, that have no goals, mm -hmm. that um, have no discipline to drugs, yeah. alcohol and shit. Like, so when you realize the way the book gives you the game and the silver lining between the um, the way the devil, you know, make it seem like he gotta do what he gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> the information, like you download it a different way. I love that book, dog. That's that's a good book, bro. That's a, like that's like an alchemist to me. It'll change your life if you read it or not. For him to ask that question is like he knew. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling he a fan. I love that book, bro. I love that book. I love that book. Psychology is seven. You see, that's the kind of shit that make me figure out. Uh, like I was telling you, content and everything is not so much what you're doing, but how, how so much how you present it. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta find something that's a little bit between psychology and business. I have a lot of best best book I ever read on business though in terms of marketing is the 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. It's the best book I ever read on business or marketing, period. And a lot of times all these books ain't the same shit. But sometimes, you know, people gotta download or digest shit differently. So 
it works for you, you feel me? Classic. Oh yeah. It's always gonna be a classic. This right here though, I remember I bought this shit. Then they made a third edition. Last time when I bought it, it was one million. Yeah, five million. I bought this book at the airport thinking it was gonna be some airport like you know fuck off book type shit. Man, this ended up being one of the best books I've read on communication, bro. It's a science to communication. I never knew that shit. It's a whole science. Way to do it. What artists you listen to? Um, new or old? All of the above. If you hop in your whip right now. If I hop in my whip right now, you gonna hear Money Man. I ain't gonna lie. Money Man. Money Man, Kevin Gates. The Kevin Gates. You gonna hear Young Boy. You gonna hear. Um... Now, who else I go to? Money Man, Kevin Gates, Young Boy. What about locally? Drake. Locally, um, Freeze, Cody, Nermo, Kiddo, Cutter. You know, I ride to niggas. If it's locally, it's gonna be niggas from my hood because they on what I'm on, so. If I ain't listening to my song, I'd rather listen to niggas that I know telling the truth too, in a way that I'm doing it too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But outside of my hood, outside of the niggas that I fuck with, um, Chad, was, was Bird. Bird, Bird on some other shit. And I don't just listen to Bird music too. I follow his business model, um, the way he moves and shit too. Yeah, Bird a legend. Who else I listen to? And I, I always tell myself when they ask me this question, I'ma remember, but it's like every time they ask me, I forget. Who I listen to locally? I ain't trying to lie to Bird, <laughs> Chad. Yeah, very chat. Outside of myself. Yeah, that's about it. Who would you do a feature with that you haven't done a feature with locally? Okay. Even like Florida wise. Um, oh, um Tierra Trinese. Tierra Trinese. Show for sure. Yeah, I fought with Tierra. She's a poetic. She's a poetry. Not even that. When I met her, I finally got to see her in person. Her personality, super dope. I know she just got this star quality that I just, I don't know. I think I feel like I got the eye. I just know when something going to hit. She's a star. Personality, she's a star. They say people that got what it takes, she definitely got what it takes. She got more than what it takes. You know what I peeped to? The nigga. I started getting loud a little bit. Then nigga came back whispering. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot I'm in a library. I ain't used to this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they ain't gonna have everything you, <laughs> everything clogged up in that brain. <laughs> they ain't gonna have. I was mad when they shut the other one down. I, I really was mad. You have a tour? Uh, what yeah. A, yeah, right? Uh, That's why I thought it had one. That's why I'm like, when I Googled it, I'm like, it's supposed to be one in Aventura, bro. It's one of the music. It's one of the first Haitians I knew. <laughs> I'm Jamie Foxx, boy. <laughs> That's on TV. <laughs> For real, boy. Because Usher was faking it. I'm about to ask you a Ripper question. A Ripper asked on, 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 he said on, on Twitter, he asked, 
what's a sample, a song that, you know, that you can sample that's like your favorite, like, you know, a song. That I would sample? Yeah. Um, Burn the Boy, Don't Go To. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's nice. I'm about that's to nice. sample that bitch that's tonight. Nice. That's nice. A song coming out tomorrow, I promise. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. But then again, I love the song so much, even if I sampled it, it just did so much justice on that shit, I don't even think I'd touch it. Like, what else you gonna do? I think Burn the Boy be like mixing in like, like, let's say he'll mix in like compa with his style. You get me? He'll mix salsa with his style. And Dangote to me is Haitian. Like, yeah, <laughs> G shit, bro. Might be right. <laughs> G shit, bro. That's probably why I love that shit so much. G shit. I think he took that vibe from Haiti. <laughs> no. Now that I think about it, man, G shit, bro. Why you never look at me like that, kid? <laughs> Jeez. Damn, it's crazy. It's just that, it's just the African rhythm, though. Yeah, that's universal. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know about. So clearly, you already know what I came to do. I came to get money. Marketing and branding, how to manage the money. Yeah, that's what I came to do. I came to get money. Yeah, that's what I Life doesn't come with an instruction book. That's why we have fathers. That's real. Seven. Seven. Facts, facts, facts. Keep the dads. Keep the dads.